Well, obviously, Rachel has shipping. Tabitha, no, stay, sit. Tabitha, where's mommy? Where's mommy? There she is. What are you doing? I knew you had shipping. I saw these boxes piled out here. Oh, I do have shipping. You want to vlog today? It's like 12 o'clock. So what? <laughs> All right, well, we better get started. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it so we're gonna vlog today it is tuesday you probably should have waited till i showered that's okay you look beautiful no matter what well it's one of those days where it's noon and i haven't even had a shower yet like just neither so have i here i went to work oh! you want to smell no <laughs> I can smell you from here. So we're going to vlog the rest of our day because we were thinking today is Tuesday. We're actually going to take a little mini trip because mini vacay. Friday is Valentine's Day. And we don't want to be doing anything on Valentine's Day. You can't get into a restaurant. You certainly like can't go out and do something. And then starting next week is lacrosse season. So uh, we really won't be able to be around much and see each other much. So... Mm. But yeah, so we're going to vlog today, and uh, today's going to be a two-meal day. The last few days, we've been doing a lot of omading, so I think today we're going to do two meals. It is about noon, not, not quite, it's about 15 minutes before noon, so okay. can't quite have anything yet. If you're new to our channel, the month of February, we are doing... Nothing before noon. Nothing before noon. Where the only thing we can have before noon is water. I have been drinking a lot more water. That's awesome. Yeah, we have this thing over here. We have our Berkey water filter right there. You see there on that stand we built. And we actually, that is a three and a half gallon one. And we're going through one of one whole thing every other day. Actually, not even every other day. I filled it up this morning, and Anthony filled it up at 10 o'clock at night on Sunday. Wow. So that is a lot of water that this family is drinking. But I've been feeling great. I have, you know, had a pinch of salt here or there when I want to eat something instead. Nothing before noon doesn't count salt. Salt and is an electrolyte. You can have that anytime. It is amazing, the power of salt. Yeah. When people are like, well, just, you know, have some salt. I'm like, you're crazy. It's not going to work. But it does. Yeah. It feels really good. Now, I did want to clarify because we had a couple people ask us, like, what's with the nothing before noon thing? This is just our version of intermittent fasting, right? For the month of February. For the month of February. I mean, we really do like to... Tabitha, we do like to intermittent fast. And sometimes, at least myself, I, like, do better when it's a challenge. Yeah. Like, I, I don't cheat as much if I know, hey, like, I said I'm going to do this, as opposed to just like, hey, I'm an intermittent faster kind of person. I also thought it would be good for maybe somebody who's just trying to onboard into intermittent fasting. And it right. could be daunting when you're like, okay, so wait a second. I'm used to breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between. And what you're saying right now is I need to go 18 hours without eating. You know, that can be daunting and somebody can be like, well, that's just not for me. Which is it for us, honestly, this isn't even really a true intermittent fast because we've been eating super late. We've been eating at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night and our nothing before noon is simply you can't have anything from midnight for, yeah. until noon. So that's only 12 hours. So that's not even a big giant intermittent fast, but it's a great way to start. It is. The other thing that we were looking at is do we notice a difference at least uh, this is what i want to know do do i notice a difference between having a soda a zevia a coffee or something even if it's a black coffee in the morning and waking up with that as opposed to only having water and not having my first soda coffee that kind of thing after 12 o'clock i thought i would feel terrible but i don't 
I, I feel great. And, you know, I haven't gone without coffee altogether. It's just pushed back pushed in back. the day. So it's not a case of like, well, I'm going to go through massive caffeine withdrawals because I'm not getting any coffee. I still have coffee. Right. Just not as much and not as early. Right. So, uh, I see you have a bunch of shipping. Do we have to go to the post office and drop some stuff off? We got to go to FedEx. We can do that. And I got a theme for today's vlog. What is your theme? I figured... Disney princesses. I figured that Valentine's Day is coming. Okay, yeah. Right? Let's do a theme of... How much do you love, Rachel? Oh, that's without question. How about 10 things that we love about the keto diet? Five things a piece. So we'll each come up with throughout the vlog, we'll talk about our top five things that we like about keto or that we love about love. keto. All right, I like it. What do you think? You know I love themes. So let's do this. Let's head to the post office. Okay. We'll start off with number one, maybe in the car. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come home and we're going to eat our first meal. Can everybody just like not look at me though? Because I look crazy. That's okay. All right. Look who's decided that she's going to grace our presence outside. What are you doing? Do you want to go inside? She runs outside and then she can't wait to get inside. She's like, I don't know how I got out here, but I want to go back in now. Cat life. Okay, lighting's not great here in the car. Face is not great either. The face is awesome. So, five things that you love about keto. Number five. All right, so, oh, so we're counting up. Counting up. Number five is quicker grocery trips because as you can see I do not even have time to take a shower it's ridiculous I do not want to spend hours in the grocery store with huge laundry lists worth of groceries so I shop the outer edge of the aisle I don't even have to go down the other aisles it's kind of awesome okay since your number five is all about groceries so is mine my number five reason of what I love about keto is the fact that we actually spend less money on our groceries now than we used to but we're eating higher quality foods so prior to keto we used to eat like all kinds of cookies potato chips junk food we were always like going out to eat eating a lot of fast food we've cut all of that out and then we've replaced like the 79 cent a dozen eggs up to you know the 3.99 4.99 6.99 pasture -raised eggs but we're still spending less money than we used to so it's amazing we keep saving money every single week on our groceries but we're eating better quality I mean we never ate steak before like our number one protein source was boneless skinless chicken breast because we were able to get it for 99 cents a pound now we're eating 14.99 a pound steaks so uh, we're going to Federal Express to drop off those three packages and then um, it's back to it. 12.50. Do you want coffee? Yes, I want coffee. We can go stop at Wawa. Do I want coffee? <laughs> Does a bear poop in the woods? Yes. Okay. I don't know if you can see us. Hopefully you can Hello. see us. Hopefully. One of these has less than the other. Check that one. one. These things is not like the yeah, other Yeah, that one's one. yours. So. This is like a Sumatra Reserve. I actually really like this flavor. I know, Wawa, it says it has like hints of chocolate. Wawa has crazy good coffee. If you have not had Wawa coffee and you're going to like Starbucks or some other artisanal coffee place instead, give Wawa a try. Yeah. Their coffee's amazing. I am going to do a scoop of Perfect Keto Salted Caramel MCT Powder. I keep this in my truck and I don't use it all the time, but it's just nice that if I'm out on the road, I want a coffee, I'm not a black coffee person, I feel like I'm better off using that than if I were to go and like, you know, have half and half or right. accidentally go someplace that doesn't have like the greatest creamer type things or sweeteners or anything like that. So I don't need any sweetener when I use this. I literally just need one scoop of it. And actually, I don't even need a scoop. It's like only a half a scoop. Now, I do want to say, if you guys like Perfect Keto products, you're going to see this video on Friday for Valentine's Day. If you need something, hold off. They're actually having a really good President's Day sale. We're going to have a link on our Facebook on President's Day, but I'm going to give you a little heads up, although I'm probably not supposed to give you the heads up. They're going to do 20% off just about everything on the site for three days for President's Day starting on Monday, January, uh, February 17th. So I like how you're like, 
if you want some, don't buy it. Don't buy it yet. Wait until Monday. We'll have the link like on our Facebook on Monday's Keto on the Couch. But hey, 20% is 20%. 20 Save money, money is better. Money. Number four thing that I absolutely love about keto is the lack of pain in my life. Yes. So if you're new to our channel, 30 years ago, I experienced a debilitating car accident. And in my car accident, I shattered my ankle. I spent a couple years on crutches. And for my entire life since then, I've always been in pain, severe arthritis, having to take arthritis medications. Then I've also had other injuries like a dislocated elbow, which is why I can't straighten my arm anymore. You're supposed to stay in the tree. And yeah, fell out of the tree. So I've always experienced a lot of pain, you know, throughout my whole body, lots of aches and things like that. Same here. And for the last three years now, I haven't had to take painkillers. I haven't had to take arthritis medication. I feel incredible. And the worst thing that I ever get is a couple of cramps. And I know that is simply from a lack of electrolytes. So I take a zip fizz, I throw some electrolyte drops in my mouth or suck on a Redmond salt and that goes right away. So definitely, I mean, I'm ranking it at number four, but it's probably much higher on my list. Yeah, it's just coming to your mind at number four. So what about number four for you? For number four, I would have to say the two crazy ketos family. Okay. It makes me think since we're like, you know, drinking coffee and like hanging out together, how nice it is to have friends in this keto life, right? I've done so many diets, but I have done them alone. I have felt very isolated in the past, and I think that that was a huge obstacle to my success and just sticking with anything, whether it is you know working out or just staying positive. It was really hard because I felt like I was alone, and because of you guys, I'm not alone anymore. I want to tack onto that though, because not everybody has you know a YouTube channel where they can yeah. reach out. I'm gonna tack on one though and to add to yours, and that is the keto community in general. Absolutely. So, I mean, last year we went to KetoCon, we had like, what, 400 subscribers, and we walked away, and I think KetoCon last year for us is what made us decide that we're going to build this channel, we're really gonna try to impact lives, because we realized how no matter who it was, yeah. this community as a whole is so supportive. It reminds me a lot of when I used to do CrossFit, which yeah. was not for very long because the CrossFit had closed, which is what got me into keto. So thank you very much for closing that CrossFit. <laughs> but when I did CrossFit, the one thing that was awesome about CrossFit compared to all of the gyms I had ever been to in my life right. is that when you went in there, everybody seemed welcoming. I mean, I was in there at 285 pounds and I couldn't barely do a push up. I certainly couldn't do a pull up and yet everybody was always encouraging me. And they were just, somebody was just like waving hey. to us behind the camera. So yeah, people were always super encouraging and it made you want to go to CrossFit. Yeah. And I feel like that's what this community is like. I think that life naturally feels competitive, mm -hmm. right? Like you, like you're alone and you're supposed to just do stuff by yourself. But yeah, no, everybody is cheering for your success. Yeah. Everybody, no matter where you are, if this is day one of keto or if this is day 100 of keto, everybody wants you to be successful. Yeah. It's lunchtime and there has been a grave error. What? Somehow I got grape. Yeah, you're drinking grape and I'm drinking strawberry. No, let's switch. But I want strawberry Waterloo. Now all is right with the world. <laughs> Waterloo! Okay, it's lunch time. Let's Yay. go over what we have and then we'll get into number three. Okay. Okay, so here's what we have. We're starting off with the Kettle and Fire Broccoli Cheddar Soup. It is delicious. Now, um, where we each have one serving and then I actually find it very thick. So I cut it down with an extra cup of bone broth. That is our Amazon so delivering okay. some mayonnaise, oh, which awesome. we'll talk about in a second. So we don't have to stop for that. So yeah, so I cut it down a little bit to kind of thin it out, give us more volume. You know I'm all about the volume. And a kettle and fire, by the way, we absolutely love kettle and fire, especially for breaking fast. Like I said, on Sunday, we're starting our 72 hour fast. And then when we break the fast on Wednesday, we usually break our fast with some kettle and fire bone broth or even homemade bone broth. but. 
bone broth mixed with some salt, a little bit of MCT, stuff like that. Yeah, because you don't want to break a fast with a giant meal first. No. That may be will, what you think you want to do, but nope. you don't. You'll spike your insulin. You're going to store a bunch of fat. You want to break it nice and light because of all your gut bacteria. Mm -hmm. So Kettle and Fire just recently changed all their packaging. So this is the old packaging and this is the new packaging. I think it's super cute. Yeah, the soups are really good. So in that, we have a half a serving a piece of the Fox Hill Kitchen's breadcrumb, mm -hmm. uh, not breadcrumbs, croutons. What a great way to use them. Yeah. So if you haven't tried these, they are really awesome. And we're not big into a lot of keto breads. Their bread is one that we will have because it's got good ingredients. They're not using a bunch of wheat products, things like that. Right. And to me, this is the best way to do it. And just, it gives you a little bit of crunch in your soup. Then we have one of Rachel's favorite things. Deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. I want to say bacon because we have two pieces of bacon here. Yep. But deviled eggs. So these are deviled eggs that I just made. And I actually did, they're kind of a little bit fattier than normal. What I did here was I made a dozen eggs, mm -hmm. but then I only used eight of the whites. Okay. So over here on the side, I still have three complete, uh, four complete egg whites left. All right. So there's like kind of extra yolk in them, which ups your fat a little bit on them. They're such a yolkster. Then I mixed in there some of the Redmond's organic seasoning salt. That stuff is awesome. If oh. you used to like Lowry's and stuff like yes. that, the Redmond is really, really good. Then I mixed in some of this uh, Primal Kitchen Chipotle lime mayo. Give now me again, a kick. we make our own mayonnaise most of the time, but this happened to be in the refrigerator. This yep. flavor is really good. And this week, Whole Foods actually had all of the Primal Kitchen on sale, 35% off. So it came out to be like $5 a jar. Well, honestly, I can't make the mayonnaise if you're using a good quality avocado mayonnaise. Uh, avocado oil for five dollars a jar yeah so that's what just got delivered because today's the last day of the sale so i just ordered about that. six jars we like to keep it more so just keep it in the cabinet for like hey i don't feel like making grab and go mayonnaise, grab and go but the chipotle lime is really good and so is the garlic aioli one that one is oh, really yeah. good it makes great deviled eggs inside of the deviled eggs i took one strip of our bacon and i chopped it up and so that's kind of mixed in there. We've got the Jolene's carrots. So then, yeah, I know we're gonna get hate for this, that we have carrots How on our plate. How dare you have carrots on your plate? There's nothing wrong with carrots. I mean, obviously you don't wanna eat a giant basket of carrots, but no. these are actually pickled carrots. So Lucky's was going out of business. Everything was 50% off when I went. And these still so are sad about that. pickled ginger carrots. And just to give you an idea, these are carrots, ginger, water, ginger root, vinegar and coliander salt and uh, red pepper flakes. So if you eat four carrot sticks, it's 10 calories, no grams of fat, obviously, no grams of protein and one total carbohydrate. We're only eating two, two. sticks, just a little bit of crunch, a little bit of flavor, but they're pickled, that's good for you. Add some color to your plate. Then I've got three slices of our homemade bacon. I got two. Overcooked it just a bit. I had it on the Blackstone and then got busy doing other stuff and kind of forgot. It so happens. sorry, it's a little bit crunchier. I like it crunchy. Me too. And then on top of that, I've got one serving of our yogurt that we when made. When is that video coming out, sir? That video is already out when these guys are seeing that. So Good. that video is being released on Wednesday. So for you guys, it's already out and you can see that video with the link right over my head. Make it, it's so good. One total carbohydrate or less. I, we obviously, we talk about in the video that we have no idea of how much sugar the bacteria ate. Cause they're still working. But not counting what the, what the bacteria ate, there is one total carbon here. And I'm actually gonna give you a little bit here. But like guys, look at that. Look at that yogurt. This. It's like eating a dessert. No I was sweetener. Say it's dessert. No sweetener. You don't even yeah, you don't even need a sweetener. And we are trying to really limit our desserty things. Once in a blue moon we're gonna have but something. It is so rich. So what I've been doing lately for dinner time is because again I eat more and we try to keep our meals, you can see, pretty similar. I mean yeah. I've got an extra piece of bacon. So we're pretty close, and then I add other stuff in for myself. So every night lately, I've been having one serving of this yogurt, which is 270 calories. So it's everything 80 fat, extra that you need. And it's just enough because we, although we don't eat sweetener, 
and we, oh, although we don't add sweetener, right? It is very sweet and a desserty kind of thing. So go check out that recipe. So and, and of course everything is seasonal Redmond real stuff. Oh. So um, I'll let you take a taste. You want to do number three? I think it's your turn. Yeah. Oh wow, that's good. That is really good. How about you? So number three. You sure you don't want to go first? Okay, so number three for me on the five, well, I guess it's a total, we're doing 10, but my top five reasons that I love keto, number three is going to be I get to try new foods. So even on this plate, I never ate deviled eggs pre-keto. Wasn't a big fan of them. Really? First of all, I grew up in the time where deviled eggs weren't good for you, right? Lots of mayonnaise. I grew up at a time where you didn't eat egg yolks. Everything should be egg whites only. Throw the yolks out. Now I'm the reverse. I give the whites to the dog. These are really good. Are they good? Yeah, I just right. kind of threw it together. Nothing is measured. God bless you, sir. So now we are kind of following more of a protocol now of we're not counting our calories. We're keeping an idea of what we have, but we're eating one or two meals a day, eating till we're comfortably full. I may or may not finish this plate. Rachel may or not finish finish this plate. I, I think, think we all know. But, and if she doesn't, then she'll it. save it for dinner. We got a really good dinner. We're, and that, that's another thing that never ate pre-keto. We have um, beef short ribs in the sous vide. We cooked it very similar to the prime rib. We smoked it for about two and a half hours to get that smoky flavor. It's been like a meat candle around And then here. for the last 24 hours, they've been in the sous vide at 150 degrees. That's going to be dinner. We never ate beef short ribs before, right? No. But they're super fatty and they're a cheaper thing. I mean, I got them on sale for $5 a pound and they're grass fed, grass finished. Aren't those good? This those is are my delicious. first bite of these. They are delicious. They are ginger. And again, because they're pickled, you're getting rid of some of those sugars and stuff that happen to be in the carrots. Nothing wrong with having a wow. couple of carrots. You know, there's no such thing as it's not keto. Um, but yeah, different foods. So I never ate pit and deviled eggs. I never ate pickled carrots before. No. You know, so I love the fact that for me, I'm getting to try new foods. I mean, you're even experimenting a little bit with, you like awful, with, you know, right? Awful. I'm not happy. You're not, but you're trying. I'm trying. So that's what I like about it. So what about you? Number three. Well, kind of piggybacking what you're talking about, you've kind of mentioned is my number three is I get to be full. Mm -hmm. I love being full. I love eating. I love enjoying my food. There's lots of good food to enjoy. I can be on a diet, right? Like losing weight is what your, if your goal is losing weight right now, and yet be full. That right. was never the case. Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, Nutrisystem, doing the oatmeal thing on my own, cabbage soup diet. It was all about how empty could my stomach stay. Looking at these plates, this is not maintenance food. No. This is, we're both trying to lose a few pounds. We're still up a couple pounds from reversing our way up in calories. Yeah. I'm not at my goal weight. I'd like to drop at least another five to seven pounds back down to where I was right at like the 178 to 180 mark. I know you want to lose about four or five pounds. Yeah. This is weight loss food. This isn't maintenance food. But where else, what other diet right, or lifestyle, can you have all of this food and still lose weight? It's really enjoyable. And that's what's going to make it sustainable. Here's what we do with the extra egg whites. Ready, Tabitha? Nope. Ready, catch. Good girl. You want another one? Mommy's got some. Good job. <laughs> She's like, I want more. She's like, I want a party for me. So what's your number two? Well, ever since I started keto, there is no more South Florida traffic. Really? No, not really. So all of these boxes, is there anything in the trunk? There is. All of this stuff has to go into that bin and then that bin has to get pushed up that ramp to the side. I wonder how many boxes we actually have. Let's find out. Okay, we're gonna start. There we go. All that into the bin. Four. 
Okay. So fun fact, you're not allowed to tape at the post office when you're dropping off packages. I thought we would be like booted out of a grocery store before we were booted out of the post office. Yeah, so yeah, we got to what, about four or six in before the lady's like, you're not allowed to film putting those packages in there. We're like, whoops. What did we end up with? 47 packages is what we yeah. ended up with. Good job. High five. Okay, so number two. My number two is now meal prep makes me feel special because before I was sort of like the yakisoba noodle girl because, you know, it, we've always had like a hectic lifestyle or I would eat Hot Pockets. So if you are what you eat, what I used to be was a glob of Hot Pocket nonsense inside of a gross flour tortilla that was cooked in 30 seconds. Like I wasn't worth any time and I wasn't worth any ingredients. And now, you know, I'm waiting for something to cook that's been cooking for like a day. You know, I eat sauerkraut and yogurt and things that really take thought and preparation, you know, to get into my stomach. So I don't know, I just feel really special. I'm a ribeye girl now and you know, even if we're in a hurry, especially with meal prepping, you can still have awesome food and feel good about what you're eating um, without having to be rushed day to day. What are you doing? I am working on our yogurt video. I'm editing our yogurt video. Uh, it's a little bit longer than what I'd like. I don't know how much shorter I can make it because uh, dealing with bacteria, trying to get it to grow, but... We're coming along. It's got to get up there by tomorrow. So what's your number two? Number two. That's easy. Number two, bacon. Do you have like a lap full of bacon right now? I have a bag full of bacon. <laughs> is that it, your purse bacon? Sort of. This is my leftover bacon from lunch. And I'm loving this. I, like I said, I overcooked it a little bit. But this is actually perfect, especially when it's cold. This is our homemade bacon. If you have not seen how to do this. There's a link for it right up over my head. I think we've made like four pork bellies worth of bacon so far, but that's the key, bacon. Because what other diet lifestyle can you have where you could eat as much bacon as you want? I mean, think about the standard American diet. The standard American diet, it's like bacon is the enemy. Like if you have two pieces, like you're kind of overdoing and it's gotta be a treat. I mean, there's entire plots of TV shows written around bacon, right? Parks and Recreation, right? Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson like lives for beef and bacon. And that is like the staple of our diet and we don't have to worry about like, hey, eating beef and bacon is gonna get us fat. So yeah, bacon definitely. Number two thing that I love about eating a keto lifestyle. What a long day. I feel like I just use so much restraint not just digging into this. <laughs> it is. Nine o'clock, we're eating our second meal. And uh, Rachel went to staff meeting. I had a bunch of work to do. And then when I got done, I was editing today's vlog, this one. This is a bit of a long vlog, so sorry. Sorry. Uh, but let's finish it up real quick. Um, here's dinner. How good does that look? And uh, okay, so here's what we've got. We've got beef, a short, beef short ribs. Uh-huh. And let me show you what this came out to be. So take a look at that. That is smoked for a little while, then in the sous vide, and then I threw it on top of the Blackstone to just kind of sear some of that fat. I gotta try this. You wanna try that? Yes. It has been sous vide for 36 hours. Ooh, wow. let's take a look at that. Look at the smoke ring. Look at that smoke ring, guys. Look at that. It's focusing on our face, but. Now we get to see, was it worth the wait? We gotta dink this one. Oh, wow. Wow. I think we just made a new food group. Wow. That is amazing. What happened there? Wow. Okay, so we will have a video on how to do this because as soon as I even thought of it, because they were like $4 off a pound, we ran and bought eight pounds and separated them up and vacuum sealed them. Look at that fat I got to try the fat one. How is that? Mmm. 
Now, beef short ribs are like super calorie dense. I think that like four ounces of beef short ribs is like 270 calories. Totally so, worth it. You know, and they're thick. I mean, you're eating about three quarters of a pound there. So you have three smaller ones. I have two large ones. So here's the rest of what we got. I've got four eggs. Looks like I got three. We have some of our homemade sauerkraut. And then we've got a couple of pickles. Where are those pickles? Sucker punch. Let me see those. So this was another find at Lucky's garlic going out of business. Garlic dill fire steals. Sucker punch, yeah. Sucker punch garlic dill fire Let's see how, how hot. Let's try that. Those are fire. They're good. Then, Whoa. this is another Lucky's find going out of business. This is a jalapeno bread cheese that I threw on the Blackstone because it's kind of like halloumi. Mm. Good, right? So that's dinner. Wow. I actually pulled out my Alterna Sweets, like my favorite barbecue sauce, but I don't think you're going to need it with these beef I don't want ribs. nothing touching this. Okay, let's, let's finish this vlog up. Number one, your turn. Put down your fork. Number one. Can I be honest? Okay. Is it going to be cheesy because it's Valentine's, but. Okay. The way we eat, I feel like every night it's date night. Oh, thank you. Well, because, I mean, it's, it's a lot of love going into what you're making. And I think anybody that's cooking at home, there's love going on. You know, it could be Valentine's Day for myself when I take the time to, like, cook for myself and treat myself well with all of these beautiful ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then it's just special when we sit together because... You're not going to stand up and eat this hovering over the sink like right. I used to eat my Hot Pockets. Right. You're going to sit down. Sometimes we're going to be laying in bed, but it just feels like an occasion. Oh, well, thank you very much. I really do enjoy cooking for you. It's like a and language. I'm glad that because for the end of last year, you kind of took over your cooking and you were doing some experimenting. And yeah. I'm glad that you've passed that back on to me. Because, and it's not because Rachel's not capable. I enjoy this. This is what I enjoy. I enjoy coming up with cool ideas. And I would obviously, not have thought of that. eggs are a staple in our diet. We yeah. love eggs, which is why we're getting chickens. Yeah. That's for another video though. But so, yeah. So number one for me, and I guess this one kind of goes along with you. It's a little cheesy. But number one reason that I love keto is because I get to buy as many kitchen gadgets as I want, and Rachel doesn't really get mad at me. You're not in the doghouse. <laughs> if you were buying, like, systematically buying golf clubs, you'd be, like, in trouble. But, yeah, no, I mean, this totally benefits me, right? Yeah. Like, I don't get anything out of, you know, some other hobbies. Like, I mean, I guess if you went fishing and you wanted all these fishing poles, I'd benefit from that if we if we ate them. Right. But, um, yeah, you buy Cuisinart appliances or Laker set, Pans, it, it does bless me in the end. So what are three of your favorite appliances that you've been able to buy? Three of my favorite appliances. Well, I don't know if you can call them a, this one an appliance, but probably the number one thing, the thing that I've enjoyed the most that you've let me get since we started keto is my smoker, my really? pit boss smoker. Absolutely love it. Out of everything. And I was an expensive purchase. Totally worth it. We do very little cooking in the house now. And so I love that. Again, blessed. <laughs> because cleanup. Uh, then I would have to say replacing our Vitamix because our old Vitamix went. Yeah. And so when that went, so the Vitamix is definitely like up there as well. It was, it was a hefty price. And then the third one is probably one that benefits you too. And that is the um, Breville Grind Control Coffee Maker. Oh, I love that. I want to revisit my one. So <laughs> Forget date night. Coffee. So, I do, but I mean, I enjoy all of the different appliances and it is just nice. But again, the way we look at it, we don't go out to eat. We don't go out to eat. This is our going out to eat. So for us, rather than going out to a restaurant and spending a hundred dollars or even like at a small place yeah. or a cheap place, like spending 50 or $60, we'd rather not do that. Spend money on better quality food at home have the appliances and the gadgets to be able to cook it properly and right. then we can really really enjoy it and we know it's in our food yeah so. it's interesting you know what our starbucks budget what lunch 
out at, you know, McDonald's, Wendy's every day. Right. Taking that back and putting it, investing it into, into what you would cook at home. It's made a huge difference. Yeah. I mean, when you look at it, the bottom line is this meal. I mean, I got these ribs. You, you got a pound and a half of these beef short ribs. That costs $7. Okay. And then you've got, if you paid full price for these eggs, you've got $3 an egg. So now, again, I didn't pay full price on the egg. Yeah. But. But 10 bucks. Top it off. Like, at the most. This was ten dollars a meal. Now it's, it's I want to say it's closer to six dollars a piece, mm -hmm. but let's say it was ten dollars adding in our seltzer waters and everything else. I am what not. Rest am, what restaurant am I gonna get all of that food for ten dollars? You're not. So <laughs> I got a bonus one before we wrap it up. Okay. So a bonus. Number one thing, and I think you're gonna agree with this one, of why I love keto, it's sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. We have yo-yoed enough to know what is not sustainable. Mm -hmm. And this is sustainable. Yeah. I am loving life. A lot of people may say that, well, not having sugar isn't sustainable or not having bread isn't sustainable. I'm going to argue it's absolutely sustainable, totally especially sustainable. now when there are enough keto options. And I mean healthy keto options. I mean things like Fox Hill Kitchens or, you know, making your own kind of treats and stuff. I'm not talking about the stuff you're finding in the grocery stores that, in my personal opinion, is not good for you. But I think that this lifestyle is sustainable long term. Well, and I think not just for us as consumers, but also for the farmers. Yeah. Because we are starting to demand a higher quality of product. Yep. So you're doing something that is not going to deplete all of our resources. Yeah. We're, we're not going to, you know, run the farmers into the ground you know, paying them nothing for, right. for their services. So I think it's sustainable in the marketplace and for the people eating it. Well, that is going to be today's vlog. Sorry, it's a little bit long. It looks like it's probably going to be about 40 minutes, but we had a lot of fun shooting it. We did. We're going to go enjoy a couple days at Universal Studios as a little Valentine's present to ourselves. Well, maybe we'll vlog. We'll kind of see how it goes. That's too. So let us know down in the comment sections what some of your favorite things about keto are. Yeah, what do you love about keto? So, please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm gonna finish my dinner. Till Bye. next time. Bye.